Hello everyone, this is Joseph K. Welcome back to more Let's Play Ultimate Zombies Ate My Neighbors, again. In the last part, we, uh, oh, we had some difficulty right out the bat. And I almost had a heart attack because I did a bad approach. But, nonetheless, we are moving back to this hack. What I think is the best hack, and my favorite hack, um, in my opinion. Now, there are probably some people who don't even think this hack is all that great. That's cool. But in my opinion, this is my favorite hack and what I think is the best definitive hack. But nonetheless, let's move on to the next level. Level 5. Girls just want to have fungus. And what makes this hack so special? The fact that... I actually went and did all the levels. Now that Chainsaw Maniac can get off screen. I'm probably going to lose this victim. Oh, well shit, okay. Screw it, let's just do that. I'm tired of trying to fight with that chainsaw maniac around that jelly blob. <laughs> so for this one... You're just going to want to jump up diagonally. And you're golden. One thing about this hack, though, it seems like Frank really loves his spiders. I almost regretted my decision. Are you gonna want to go off screen? Because both those victims are at pretty decent risk. Because those mushroom men, jeez louise, do they spawn fast. Ooh, oh yeah, that's another thing about this hack. He likes his spiders, and he likes putting his victims by spiders. Mainly his cheerleaders. You may find that throughout this whole hack, the cheerleaders are at the highest risk. The running joke was that he had an issue with cheerleaders, and I think he ended up saying he just didn't really realize he had cheerleaders in such difficult places. He wasn't even thinking about it. He was just putting it there. When I guess it kind of makes sense to put the cheerleaders at higher risk. Cheerleaders are worth the most points. You know, because even in 1993, sex sold. Oh, that's a double pickup. Cool. Yeah, I didn't think there was anything in that troop behind that uh, fire. Ow. Yay! Don't you love it when the uh, boogie monster pops out? Now, level six. Surprisingly, I got this on my first try when I was testing it to make sure no issues.
I'm not expected to get it on my first try this time. Because I'm recording. You know, El Pierre's curse. I don't know if he puts spring in this pool or not. Yeah, this guy you want to go for immediately. Because of that spider that you just saw me kill. And even though I did just test this out recently, I do not know where all the victims are. Oh yeah, this is this guy. careful with that guy because that mummy does go and spawn right after that guy. Yeah, I think, I was about to say, I think he's safe. Well, he's not safe. Very few victims in this hack are actually 100% safe. Okay, that's that cheerleader that I'm dreading. Charlotte. That was a nice Charlotte. Trying to figure out how we're supposed to do this. Alright, we got those guys, but... Oh, but, but, but. There is a particular victim... In this stage, who is... Super duper high risk. I'm going to see if I have a mystery potion. Use this shit down here. Oh, speed shoot. This might actually work. Yay! Mystery potions do it for me again. Yeah, that's cheerleader. Is she hard? Because you can rescue her without speed shoes. I've done it before. But basically what you would have to do is come down here, not get caught up there, and then go that way. We did it. First try. And I was over here saying, I doubt we're going to make it my first attempt. Made a liar out of myself. So for this next stage, just like the original level 7, you're going to want to have your speed shoes up. You do not have time to dawdle. You literally have just enough time to rescue the Taurus couples. I think there's four of them. 
think you literally have just enough time to rescue them, but you have to be like move perfect. So I'm gonna I'm gonna assume a level seven is gonna take a couple attempts. And you also have enough time to rescue them with two people if you do precise movements. All right. If I get this next one on my first attempt, I'm gonna be shocked. Attempt number 13. Got him. Like I said, you have enough time to get him, but oh man, you have to basically ignore everything and just let yourself go. I suppose an alternative? Use the restrictions. Probably less of a hassle to use the restrictions, to be honest. But y'all, that is not... Oh, I should let it kill me, because I have the life there. Whatever. That is not the hardest one. That Those are the hardest ones, but they're not the only hard ones in this level. But okay, I think we got it. Yeah, we did. 13 attempts, but you know, so satisfactory. Again, I'm here to show you that every level should be able to be doable without, without utilizing restrictions. That's just the way I play. And I think that's all we care about in here. Let's go. Oh, 
Um, okay, so this level... Temp number two? I like guess there's some good stuff over there you could go for. Leave it alone until you take out the baby. I'm trying to remember how I do this because there is a way to just get safely to where you can get the baby. I think it involves using a bazooka to rescue that. To like, I don't know. We'll figure it out. You want to be careful going for that Taurus couple. Man, Julie doesn't know how to shoot her bazooka. Way to go, Julie. That's a one-up behind that tree. If you really need a one-up, there you go. Oh, you can't bazooka. Oh, shit. Okay. Really isn't anywhere safe I can go. There you go. I guess the safest way to go is take yourself up. Rescue that Taurus couple when, you, when you're in the clear. And then just go ham. But yeah, that is definitely one big bad baby. Big bad mad baby. Probably has diaper rash. But yay, we did it. I don't remember... Oh yeah, I do remember level 9 is. Level 9 is... What, no monster is an island, I think? I don't know. We'll find out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Joseph K. Uh, a little rough there, but you know, it's, it's, it's going to get better. It, it will. Um... Soon, so tune in next time we go through levels 9 and 12B. This is going to be fun. It's, I'm enjoying this project, even though I've had some frustrations early on. But I'm enjoying this project because, like I said, it's nostalgia for me. I haven't played this hack all the way through since I did the Let's Play, I think. Well, no, since Sky and I recorded our Let's Play... 2016, was it? Might be 2016. Maybe it was 2015. I don't know. I have to look. But, just case signing out. Y'all have a great day. Keep it real. Later.